hello everybody i'm back in suffolk and southwold and what a beautiful evening for a bit of landscape photography but i'm not going to talk about that just now i've come to talk about kit and specifically keeping it protected when you're on the beach now i'm a fine one to talk about protecting your kit when i'm on the beach if you think back to a couple of videos of mine um, back in norway about a month or so ago right at the end of one of the films i turned around didn't know where my camera bag was um, looked round and it was just about to be engulfed by the incoming tide. Dashed out, saved it at the last minute. Um, only about three weeks ago I was here shooting a black and white shot. The film was titled Minimalist, um, you may have seen it. But in the bottom right hand corner of the frame um, of the video, you saw the tide come in and completely engulf this camera bag. The, the water went all the way around. But that aside, that's my clumsiness sand and beaches generally don't go well with camera gear this bag when i put it down in order to get my kit um, the stuff's always at the, t at the front here and so the, of course the base has to go on the sand and when i get home it's full of grains of sand and if you live along the lancashire coastline like i do that sand is often replaced for, with mud now country innovation um, jackets that i wear the company contacted me recently and said simon would you like to try one of our raptor waistcoats well i jumped at the chance the thought of wearing one of these seeing if i can get all my gear in these pockets and leaving this at home nothing else to worry about all my kits on me all the time i can just walk around at my leisure and uh, knowing that all my kits protected and safe in this jacket so let's see how it gets on So just how did the Country Innovation Raptor jacket fare this morning? Well, I'm pleased to report it did really well. And I just want to run through some of the features that it has and, uh, and how I've utilised them this morning. Now, talking about pockets, Country Innovation are really good when it comes to pockets and cargo and stowage. And this jacket is no exception. 15 pockets it has, I'm told. And I'll just show you what I got in here this morning. So I got my 16 to 35 millimeter lens. I've got my 100 millimeter macro lens as a backup. Inside this same pocket down here, I've got a filter holder, my Lee little stopper, my full range of filters I managed to fit in the pocket at the back. Inside down here, I've got my cable releases. At the top here, I've got phones and glasses. But down at the bottom, this is the most impressive. You've got these big expandable cargo pockets and I've got my Canon 1DX in there, but not only is the camera big, it's got an L bracket attached and I managed to fit that in as well. Absolutely massive. So what about the other features? So to begin with, we've got the Riptek material. This is a really nice and thick yet durable material perfect for this sort of um, activity that I'm doing today. What I've found with a lot of jackets of this type in the past is that once the pockets are full and I tend to bend over and move, the whole jacket will twist because of the weight. But because this jacket is so robust, it helps to prevent that. Country Innovation have put tabs at the side of this jacket. So if you want to put a jumper or another gilet, um, if you just need a bit of extra warmth, you can still fit that underneath. But the fact that these tabs tighten up help to keep the jacket protected, um, connected with your body and stop it rolling around. At the front, you've got a two-way zip for a bit of temperature control and also to allow freedom of movement with the tops of your legs when you're walking. Unusually, you've got a collar. Now, I've never seen collars on these types of jackets before, and certainly today it's nice and sunny, but it is a little bit chilly, and that collar, collar is just helping to take that bit of chill off the back of my neck. We've also got two epaulets on either side. Now, if you're bird watching and you carry a spotting scope, that's nice and handy for keeping the scope from falling off your shoulders. Moving around the back, you've got the lumbar scoop. Now, the lumbar support is very handy for me, certainly. Um, when I'm bending over doing macro work, 
it helps to keep my lower back nice and protected from the elements. But you've also got, in the middle there, you've got that nice big pleat. And certainly for me at least, when I'm bending over doing macro again, um, it stops the jacket pulling tightly across the middle of my back. And uh, that's a big plus for me. But crucially, I've got on this occasion, some padding on the shoulders. Now I walk around with my camera on my shoulders a lot and I do get aches and pains in my shoulders and that padding has certainly helped in that respect. And um, you've got padding on both sides. All in all, I think this is a wonderful jacket. Great for bird watchers, photographers, and just generally anybody that spends time in the outdoors that needs to carry quite a bit of kit. I for one give it a big thumbs up. That's the Raptor jacket from Country Innovation. So until next time, bye for now. Music